As kids head back to school now, this might be the time parents and teachers notice some problems that children may have with reading. Amanda Lee with Brain Balance San Diego joins us now with five signs we should all look out for. Amanda, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having us back. All right, before we get to these details, what exactly is dyslexia? Is it just what we've all thought where you're kind of getting the letters back and forth or is it more? It's often characterized by the reversal of letters, but mm -hmm. it's actually a neurobiological uh, challenge and disconnection in the brain that makes reading difficult for uh, many people. When did most people discover that they have this? Because a lot of times pe the kids at a small age would get put in the back of the class or something because they didn't realize mm -hmm. it was dyslexia. Yeah, actually, it's still a challenge that's hard to answer sure. because a lot of people don't realize dyslexia is still a real disorder for a long time. It was never acknowledged. So there is adults right now who don't even realize they have it. I actually just talked to a parent wow. yesterday who only learned she had dyslexia um, while she was researching uh, what's going on with her child. Can you imagine that? Um, l mm. Let's get to some of the common warning signs because I think... Um, the, the warning signs I'm assuming would be different if you're talking about a five-year-old or a six-year-old starting to read versus somebody maybe a little bit older. Yeah, so in the beginning, maybe your child is struggling learning language or memorizing the alphabet. But as they get older, you may realize that they're having struggles because it's really hard for them to read. Yeah. Maybe they're skipping words or guessing a lot. Um, maybe they're not able to memorize a sequence of numbers. Um, and then later on, it's simply just avoiding reading altogether. Sure. Uh, okay, let's go through this list. Delayed speech, you mentioned, is one of them. Uh, a, a family history, perhaps, of reading challenges yeah. as well, right? It is. It's a hereditary mm. um, disorder, unfortunately. And so if there's a family history in reading challenges, um, it's not uncommon that your child or your grandchildren will have reading challenges too. How do you think adults, you mentioned the adults and the grown-ups who didn't realize they had dyslexia mm -hmm. and then they realize, oh my God, I've had this my whole life. Is it like a light bulb goes off and says, that's why I was struggling? Or was it just yeah. never that hard at the beginning? No, it's always hard yeah. and it always stays hard. The thing with dyslexia is it's not something you can cure, but you can find coping strategies, which aren't always healthy, yeah. but there's also ways you can help um, alleviate those disconnections in the brain that lead, lead you to take a longer path to read what you're just reading. Yeah, you mentioned coping with it, living with dyslexia. How yes. do people go about doing that? Um, uh, again, depends on which route you take. If you're willing to work hard, then you can really persevere and get through those challenges, maybe memorize, learn to memorize what you're reading um, quicker, or especially the auditory processing. They learn to hear uh, directions or do audiobooks uh, rather than reading. And then other times, folks just simply uh, ignore it. I have a teenager right now who is interested in a career that does not involve any kind of reading because it's just that difficult for him. Wow. Uh, yeah. there's, there's a free screening and a Q&A yeah. that's happening tonight. This is so important for so many parents, especially now, because the challenges of distance learning are just compounding the problem. Exactly. I'm hoping to inspire both parents and kids. So it is a family-friendly uh, documentary. Um, it's tonight at 6 o'clock. You do have to register, okay. but it's called The Big Picture Rethinking Dyslexia. And the goal is to follow a teenager who's interested in college but struggling with dyslexia and it also highlights some really prominent figures who have it and have persevered and how they can still be successful. So I'm hoping families again get inspired and aren't distraught about the challenges that they're having, have hope and know that there's something they can do about it too. It's not something you're just stuck with. I think that's the key. You said it right there. Have hope and the, the point of this documentary and the, po the point of this interview is just to let people know there are kids out there who think it's just me, it's just me. It's yeah, not. It's like not just you're not you stupid, you're not lazy, Correct. you just learn differently, yeah. and I want everyone to know that's okay. Love that. You learn differently, because a lot of kids, you said it there, they feel like they're stupid. It's a horrible word, but they do feel that way. You're yeah. not. You learn yeah. differently. I love it. Amanda yeah. Lee, thank you very much. Very, very important thank work you. you guys are doing. We appreciate it. If you would like to register for tonight's screening, head to fox5sandiego.com and click the scene on tab.